Hi everyone, welcome back to Crochet Rocks. Tracy here. What a day. <laughs> I'm going to go to the dentist today and uh, I'm just moving this a little bit. You can see my bags and stuff. I was going to show you what I got, wasn't I? Um, I'll be back. Here it is. Here it is. As you can see, I've been to my favourite shop. S shops. One of which being Kurt Geiger, because that was the bag. And the other one being Carl Bella, which is the shoes. I never used to be a bag and shoes person. But now, I'm really kind of conforming to the girliness in me. And getting bags and shoes. I've always been bags you know bags and me i've always been bestest buddies so you wait to see this is so super cute you'll see why i had to get it are you ready for this it is small but that just means i can't carry all of gary's stuff look how cute that is there's the other side so it's just this but it's quite wide so i'll get all my bits in I can take these things off now I can move in so inside though intriguingly as well as all the packaging you get two straps you get this one which is a thin strap then you get this fat job um, as well let's get all that all the packaging out get quite a bit of spacey packaging I was gonna use that in my crochet I was gonna make something you know that sort of packaging so yeah you get the you get the little bag which is super super cute and i mean that just says geiger i love um some people say giga but i just don't sound right to me and then you get this long thick strap and then you get this one and i i don't know if this is strictly speaking a cross body but i know that one is so um if this one is shoulder I'll never use it because I've got a sloping. I have one sloping shoulder and uh, this bra strap and anything that's on this shoulder just off every five minutes drives me completely and utterly bandy is the word. Um, it really does. So I think um, when I looked at the one in the shop, the, the strap did not look crossbody, but this one does. So yeah, choice of thin gunmetal kind of strap that does up with a, a thingy so you can adjust it to the very last hole and so you can have this thin one or you can have the fat one that probably has Kurt Geiger written all over it but yeah I like it it's kind of, I don't understand why they give you two but you know I'm not I'm not sad about that because the fat one will probably look pretty cute so that's my bag i love it and it's gonna hold more than i think because it is quite fat that way but yeah not gonna my phone is quite a big phone but as it's fat it will go in and a purse so that's all i really need when i go out and about isn't it see so yeah, there we go that's my bag and I've lost the little dust cover. There it is. And I'll put that in so it stays nice and good until I need it. And I got some sandals. Now, I did buy some functional sandals. I think I showed them to you. But these are not. These, well, they are. Don't get me wrong. They are very super, super, super comfortable. But they are sparkly. And they've got sensible heels. But you can't drive in them because in this country you're not allowed to drive in sliders of any kind or flip-flops whatever you want to call them you can't drive in them so um yeah you have to have at least a sling back but they are very very sparkly they had gold i didn't know whether to get the gold or the silver i've only got small feet as you can see size four in the uk four and a half is my ideal size but because these are really loose and this is ever super squishy so it does it's and there's nothing that's going to rub at all there i can see those are going to be my preferred footwear for this summer if 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 we get one because that is a big if 
All it does is rain. You can't wear sandals in the rain. Just get wet feet. So that's what I got yesterday. That was my little bit of extravagance for me. And um, the other thing we bought, <laughs> really didn't need it, okay, was quite a bit of lint chocolate. They have a lint shop there. And uh, while I was at my son's, I looked over and um, they had a lint bunny that was salted caramel. And I felt like, oh, hang on, why did I not see those? So we went into the lint shop, but they obviously had sold out of those. They were all in the sale because obviously, you know, I don't want to start with them. So, but they did have a bag of lint salted caramel, kind of like cream eggs, that size. And they were, you get 10 for five pounds in the sale. So I thought, oh, OK, I'll share those with Gary. So I got some of them. And while we were there, there was some kind of open on the counter that you could try. And they had the traditional red one, but they also had one that was strawberries and cream. And oh my God, it was gorgeous. So we got a little pack that had those in. But Gary did try a few of those that were on the counter. So did I, I have to say. But, um, and he wanted some dark chocolate. So there was... Um, quite a lot of the dark chocolate bars half price so we got three for Gary I did say I'd share my eggs with him though because it's quite a lot so yeah we didn't need to be buying chocolate but you know I felt a little short change that I didn't know they existed so uh yeah a little bit of what you fancy does you good anyway well I'm hoping it does but um, so I went to the dentist today, which is, you know, yesterday for you guys, because obviously this is tomorrow's. And um, so I, I thought, you know, she's going to say to me, that is an abscess and it's nothing to worry about. She didn't. She said, well, I don't know what that is. And I thought, that ain't good, is it? So she said, it just looks like it's swollen, that's all. She said, why don't you um, gargle with salt water? 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 I'm having trouble speaking because it's swollen. It's making my speech a bit weird. So ha gargle with salt water and um, if it doesn't go in a couple of weeks, come back and see me. So I thought, why would I do that? <laughs> she doesn't know what it is. But she did say, if I can either refer you now and you can go up to the hospital for a, an x-ray because she couldn't get the x-ray thing down there. A, I've had surgery and it's not right over there anyway, down the bottom of this part of me. You know what I mean, down uh, down there isn't isn't kind of normal um, because I had that cancer surgery and uh, it's swollen. So it's, and I'm, I haven't got a big mouth. I know, contrary to everybody's belief, my mouth is actually small and I don't have a lot of space in there as it is. And um, it is honest, I'm, I'm serious. I can't open it wide, look. I can't open it any wider than that. I could, and she was trying to force it. <laughs> she was trying to force it in. And I'm like, oh, I can't open, can't open it anymore. So she said, well, I'd have to refer you to the hospital for an x-ray. I said, okay, we'll leave it a couple of weeks then. And if, it, if I need that, I'll come back to you. So on the way home... I rang my um, Macmillan nurse and I left a message because they always answer phone. And I said, you know, Mr. Galati did say he'd see me if I need to be seen sooner. And so, um, you know, I'd explained what it was and um, the dentist doesn't know what it is. And so um, I left it with him. I haven't heard anything. But um, I haven't even got an appointment because, you know, last time I was there, you normally make your appointment on the way out, but they won't make it that far in advance because I'm now in my third year. I haven't, this August, it will be three years. So this is into my third year. And um, so my appointments are further apart. And because does it seem swollen to you? I feel like I've got like one really munchkin cheek and one normal. I just feel like it's bigger. But um, yeah, so... They said, oh, we can't make them that far in advance. We'll send you the appointment. Well, I thought about it and I thought, actually, I should have received it by now. And I haven't. So I mentioned that as well. But I haven't received my appointment. 
and uh, yeah, let me look into it. Okay, let's do the joke book, which we are coming to an end. I've still got a few pages left. It's very, very near the end though now, but um, I think there's a couple still. So many on a page, that's why. Where was I up to? Uh, you know your old when you have too much room in the house and not enough in the medicine cabinet. That was that was today's, which is yesterday's for you. So this one is, you know your old when you know all the answers, but nobody asks you the questions. Isn't that the truth? I mean, especially one of my sons. You know what? You think by now, having been proved right so many times, he'd listen to me now, wouldn't you? <laughs> I just think that particular boy don't listen to anything. Unless it's one of his mates who knows nothing, then it's gospel. Do you know what I mean? Is that uh, right? Oh goodness gracious! Look, I love Fridays. We got a double Grogu. How cute is that picture there? Look, oh, I love a little Grogu. Yeah, and you know, I guess you might know which son I'm talking about. <laughs> the youngest one. Okay, right, so I did, um, as soon as I got home, filmed the unboxings. So I did the accessories and the tulip stuff, only because I filmed them both at the same time and then I set them to upload. Well, one was obviously bigger than the other, so that one was taking longer. And I knew I was late with my video, so I thought I'll do that one first then, because it uploaded quickest. So that's the only reason you got the tulip one first. And then I was sitting here and um, finishing up and getting my video on. And I suddenly thought, I've got to pack those orders, get that done. Because obviously I've got to set the wheels in motion for them to collect it tomorrow. Hopefully getting a table tomorrow. A new table should arrive. <laughs> and they phoned and they said, oh, hello, so can we deliver your table? I went, I don't know, can you? because seemingly they couldn't deliver a chest of drawers and uh, anyway they're still looking into that they were meant to call me back and arrange another delivery date with a better vehicle and I said look I'm not being funny because obviously Furniture Village isn't the company that delivered them it was an outside um, contractor because it was a they ordered it but it has to be made and sent so uh, when I phoned today and I said, look, I haven't heard anything from you and you were supposed to be looking into this. Um, and he said, well, I'm really sorry. There was a note on here saying um, that there were potholes and they were getting stuck. I went, yeah, but they actually just watched my neighbour drive his car down and not get stuck. And they had a huge loot and van. I said, they're clearly idiots. I said, you know, uh, morons was the word I used. I said, I think you should, you know, he said, I'll email them later. I said, well, I think you should point out that those particular people that they sent were Muppets. <laughs> so I, said, I don't think I can use the word morons and Muppets. They might not appreciate it. I went, well, actually, they might because, you know, they might have be of the same opinion. I said, oh, they may just not know that they're employing these Egypts. But, you know, perhaps they need to know that they've got a gigantic Luton van, but they'll watch someone with a Nissan Micra drive down the road and not get stuck. You know, just saying, my next door neighbour's got a Micra. Anyway, I said, and we've just driven down there in a, in a Cougar. You know, it's, it's not a tank. Anyway, so I left it with him. I haven't heard any more. And I said, it's not And as he was going, I should have said, it's either that or you can refund me. They wouldn't have liked that very much. I do feel like this is swollen on this side because it's it's really I can feel it here, the the um, lymphatic drainage thing. I need to do some massaging down because I feel like this is all a little congested. Well, she was um, this dentist. She was like, "Does this hurt your tooth?" I'm like, "No." Does this tooth hurt? I'm like, "No." So she said, "How about now?" I'm like, "No, it doesn't." So. She, <laughs> Dang, no, it doesn't hurt. Tooth's fine. 
it's just my gum so you know i'm now worrying because she had no idea what it was and it isn't an infection according to her um that i might have something nasty and something might be back well you know obviously every time i get a lump bump or worry it's cancer as far as i'm concerned but um it's right at the back near my wisdom tooth and but it is on my gum and at the side around here so it's obviously where it all drains and then obviously i've got no lymph nodes here so i don't know what it is my niece just had to go to hospital with a similar thing and she had a lump in the neck and uh they they found that it was because she doesn't drink enough water and um her saliva gland was blocked but i don't believe i have one over that side i think it was all taken away i don't know But, you know, it is a worry. It is. I'm definitely going to use these. I'll keep saying things like this. I've got loads of this sort of stuff. In, I've got these hobby, um, what would you call them? Trolleys. You know, I have two hobby trolleys and they're full of, oh, that will come in handy for some things. There's loads of that in there, which obviously I've never touched. And I trundle it around because it's in the way in the yarn van. And I'm constantly moving it. Oh, do you know what? I went out there earlier. And I thought, oh, I'll package those orders. And I opened the door and I thought, oh, you didn't tidy it up. And you know, I said I, I dragged that chest of drawers where it was a sideboard. But I dragged that out the other day and threw it out. And then I just stacked the, the boxes. The one had the yarn, like wool genies and stuff like that. And others had yarn in. And those plastic ones, you, you know, really useful boxes, things so yeah i stacked them all at the back because the ones i want were always at the bottom but everything that i got to take and move out of the way to get this blessed thing out i stuck it down the end where i do my packing oh i thought oh no you could have you could have moved all that stuff so then i had to move it all then i discovered that the war genies were in the box at the bottom so I move them all about. That's the tr the problem. Everything else is on racking. So if it's on the bottom shelf, it's on the bottom shelf. It's fine. But when they're stacked one on top of the other, you know, and you want, it's always the one at the bottom. Always. Anyway, so I packaged them all up now and they're going to go tomorrow. I haven't done the postage thing yet, but I will. And um, for the first time, somebody made use of my reduced postage for the US. So, oh my, I've got a backache now. All that humping about. I don't know. So, yeah. Uh, we did, did we do the grogu? Yes, we did. We did, because it's a double grogu, isn't it? My favourite ones. <sighs> so, at least I didn't have any work done at the dentist. I said to her, I thought a piece of filling fell out of the, this tooth at the back here. Um, but you have seen it since, and you did said I didn't need anything done. So, she just went through my teeth pushing and prodding and said nope fine you don't have to have anything done i was sure that i was going to need a fill in nothing <laughs> does this hurt no you know that sort of thing anyway what else have i got to tell you let me think this whole holiday has been just one all of the kids we've seen every single one of them apart from we didn't did we see bailey no, we didn't see Bailey. But then, you know, he's older now and he doesn't really do that anymore. But there were, um, the older boys were on holiday with their dad anyway. So this time I went, um, I didn't see them because they are in Butlins having, well, getting rained on, I think. But um, at least it's not raining here today. Just um, a bit windy. Definitely tie your hair up weather, that's what it is. You know, nothing worse. Do you know, I find that my hair has got to a length now where it keeps knotting. And every time I go in the, in the bathroom, I think, oh, I'll brush it. I break the brush. I actually broke my brush. It snapped in half and I keep pushing, keep pushing the handle back in and then it gets stuck and it just falls apart again. And it, I've never, I've not had that in years since I was young. Um, it must be just so thick and um and long it needs thinning out i suppose and cutting just a bit but i quite like the length 
I worry about that. If I go to the hairdresser, suddenly it'll be like this length and I'll be like, oh, shouldn't have gone. It always seems like much shorter, even though they say, oh, I'm taking like half an inch off. And you think, yeah, right, it's right up here now. But, you know, just saying. Anyway, we've got a lovely dinner. We have minted lamb steaks and Gary's cooking. It smells amazing and it's not far off. So that's good. Now he's back at work tomorrow. So tomorrow is back to normal for me. I think he is. Actually, I'm not sure if he's back to work or not. I'm losing track. Anyway, it's now back to normal. So no more kind of gallivanting. And uh, although it now he's off because he wanted to go to the cinema, which we might do. He wants to see Godzilla. And he said... You won't like that, will you? I said, well, I've seen the last few with you that have been out. And, you know, it's not my cup of tea, but I'll, I'll watch it with you. Um, but then he said, oh, I also want to see the Ghostbusters movie. And that won't be there much longer. So if we go, that's what we'll see. The Ghostbusters one while it's still there. These are strange. I mean, I suppose they could have just left them on, couldn't they? Or maybe they're, I don't know. We're definitely going to do something one of these days <laughs> like all the rest of it one of these days so I, like later on as soon as uh well you know I, i'm sorted and i've got to upload all that stuff to my website i haven't even put my tulip stuff on which i should have done because i've uploaded the uh, video but i did say give me chance to upload it but I do need to do that. And I wish I'd done a, a bigger order. It is swollen, isn't it, that side? Don't you think? I feel like I've got, like, it might be all the chocolate. It just made me fat overnight. Oh, well, it's been a few nights, to be honest with you. But I just feel like I've got a gigantic munchkin cheek over this side. Anyway, I'm going to get off before, <laughs> before I make it worse. I think after the dentist, it got worse because where she was like, does this hurt? Does this hurt? And she was giving it a good old prod and stuff. Um, I came out of there and I thought, it's worse now. It's worse. But it's gone down. I haven't done any salt water yet, but I'm going to have to do it because I really want it to go. I want it to be nothing, obviously. So anyway, thank you for watching. Stay safe, everyone. Take care. And um, I will see you on the next one and tomorrow i've got my big big box of yarn unboxing oh it's beautiful absolutely gorgeous so yeah bye for now see you soon